What is good friends? We are back with more World Cup. You got Asuya was a Sowin. I think this is uh, someone is playing for Spain. I don't know if Asuya is playing. I think for Italy. But yeah, we're playing black and white, and we see Sun versus <sighs> Sand. And who PM'd me? I don't know. Oh, he's playing after World Cup. Okay. Secret game after World Cup. Might record that. So Ductrio can trap Heatran and Tyranitar, which is annoying for Solwind. Oh wow, I have never seen Dawnfan in black and white. Volcarona pretty much, if it has HPIs, pretty much clean sweep. Solwind, if he gets rid of the T darn, the and a Heatran with a doggy. Which is gonna be a serious plan. Like, Volcarona sets up on. It doesn't set up on much. Maybe on the real Nicholas. Hmm. Because Gamma runs Whirlwind usually, so I don't think Volcarona can set up on that. Amoongus. Yeah, he can set up on Amoongus if Amoongus um, already puts something else to sleep. So what am I leading here from Soulwind? Oh, this is a tough one. Probably Garchomp. Like if Garchomp has Fire Blast, he can potentially cook the Feral Thorn. Let me think this through. <laughs> I think Soulwind is Scarf Chomp, but... Not sure. At least with Among Us, which means there is gonna be the free spore if he wants to go for that. There's always the risk of the Zatu coming in though. Zatu got that young magic bounce ability to bounce back. Status moves like spore. I mean some Among Us even carry sleep talk to absorb sleep, so not sure how bad it would be for Sylvan if he would get to sleep. If he would get put to sleep with his own Among Us. With a bounced back spore. I mean, yeah, Donphan is really nice because it spins on Tita and Garchomp and Slumry. Like, I know some Tita's carry Ice Beam, but if they're not really. if they have bulky Tita, I don't think uh, that does too much to Donphan. Like, I think it would do like 40 or 50. Just, just play it safe in case Asuya wants to put the Dawn fan to sleep. <clears throat> so I assume it's gonna be like Spore, Giga Drain, Sleep Talk, and then maybe HP Fire Among Us. I don't really know. I don't remember what they run. He goes for Trick Choice Scarf. So. Now he has a black sludge and it's a HP ice crit. I don't know what hidden power that was besides ice. So we have a scarf among us locked in now. So I can see him going into Volcarona and then pulling a double into Dougie. The thing is the Volcarona might force in the guard jump first. If someone is smart, I don't think he would go hard into Tita or Hichun, because that's too obvious that he can double out into Dougie on those. Yeah, crits do double the damage, so... Uh, that could have been an offensive. I think that was an offensive start because Giga Drain did 18%. Let me open my Calc in case I need it later on. Hmm. I mean, 9 is like the main thing that baits in Tita and... Tita and Heatran, but if you go 9 tails here... The double into Dougie is so obvious, I don't know if that's the play. Cause Sobin can easily predict that, right? Goes in the Feral Zone, gets a, gets a Hazard here for free. I think as we can get up all three layers, because if the the Skarmory gets up layers, he can spin with Donphan later. And if he gets up layers, he gets nice chip damage. 
that could bring Tita and the range to die from Volcarona if that if that even carries Buck Buzz. I don't know if they carry that. But it could also bring uh, I mean it could bring it in the range from Dougie's Elf Creek is what I meant to say. <laughs> and also Garchomp might get into Volcarona HPI's range after a few hazards. But he has Taunt, but he can rapid spin here. Yeah. Tom was just to prevent potential stealth rock. So it doesn't have hazard control, so I can understand the taunt play. Because if stealth rock goes up plus spikes, that's gonna be a pain to deal with for him. A oh, rapid spin has more PP than spikes, so it's not like someone can get up hazard with uh, Skarmory as this Dawn fan. I went into this assuming Zatu wasn't the worst possible set, my bad. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear my fan in the back, but it's super hot in here. I got it. I gotta turn my fan on. He just keeps rapid spinning, because I think he's like Earthquake, rapid spin. And what else would they run? I don't know if they run Ice Shard this gen. But he doesn't really have anything to touch this Skarmory. They don't, I don't think they run Knockoff, because Knockoff is weak in Gen 5. It's like... Not really seen that much. Like, it became way more popular in X and Y when it got buffed. I wonder... I think Soon is gonna switch out eventually. Cause like he's not really gaining anything from staying in here and he wants to at least get the momentum. Like he can get something in for free on a potentially rapid spin again. But he just stay in, okay. He so he off quick there predicting a potential switch, which is understandable. The like Castilla doesn't lose anything because he can just rapid spin on this following turn now. So we got the free switch into Reuniclus, but it's not like Earthquake would have done much. So this could be live or Reuniclus because... So actually Earthquake would have done a decent amount because rapid spin already did 5. I assume this is going to be live or offensive. Something like that. Let me count this. What is this set? Offensive Trick Room. Runs quite nature. This is what the calculator has at least. They would live or... Uh, psychic Focus Blast Shadow Ball. It's going to be... Yeah, if I, that that coverage is pretty nice with Asuya. So I assume he's going to go for Trick Room here. Goes hard for Psychic, okay. And Donphan takes that decently well. As, yeah, if he was Fist Death Donphan and if it's Life or Reunion, because it should have done 80%. Earthquake did the amount of damage to that it would do to kind of due to the spread that I have on the Kalki, so I still thought this was offensive for Uniclus. So this is either Spadef Donphan, but the Uniclus is not offensive. Let me put Careful Donphan in the Kalki. I don't think that's a set, but uh, yeah, Careful Donphan would take something along those lines, so it could be Careful Donphan. But <laughs> that seems such a like a weird set. I think I'd I think uh, that's not the case. Is there any other games going on? No, I don't think so at the moment. I know that White Queen is playing later tonight. Let me close this. Young Steam. Got that Brawlhalla on the back. I'm actually awful at Brawlhalla. Gotta train a bit more, but like... I could see him focus blasting on a potential Ferrothorn switch. Yeah, I guess that's the reason why he didn't... He didn't have to Trick Room because Ferrothorn should outspeed this in Trick Room anyway. So does he Focus Blast here? He just goes for Psych again. I mean, if Focus Blast might not kill, but... Asuya still doesn't have the best answers for this. Yeah, Sokus Best should not kill. He has Protect. Run for Psychic again, predicting a pivot into Volcarona or something like that, maybe? Or into Ninetales, because Ninetales has good speed death. He goes for Focus Best and misses, which is a bit annoying. He did get a crit on an uh, Zata, so I guess you can say Hex for Hex. 
Balloon is interesting. Set for opposing Dark Trio and for opposing like Scarf Mons probably that are locked into Earthquake like Garchomp. I think this is the second game of Italy that I'm recording. I don't know if they played in any other tier, but I only saw them play in Sun Moon OE so far. And I think Spain I saw only play Auras. And Spain lost. Uh, yeah, Spain lost. And what? I think Italy won, yeah. The Sun and Moon game. I recorded those. If you guys want to check them out. It goes for a hidden power and it's super effective, so. It could be Hidden Power Ground for Heatran. So he has a Duck Tree, but he still has Hidden Power Ground. That's really weird. I don't think it's HP Water, unless... I don't think it's HP Water. I mean, of course it did no damage, my dude, T. That's a Tyranitar and Sand, my man. And Nantil's is weak as piss, you all notice if you... Like even the lone lantern's both lantern's forms are pretty weak. Like I can data this for you. Hey, you want special attack? What a joke! I see some lantern's carry sunny day sometimes because if you break like opposing weather setters, you can go for sunny day and switch the weather back. So if he's banned tar, is he gonna go for pursuit here? Let's just say nine tilts versus uh, Tyranitar. He tries banned. Yeah, if he got a low roll, I think. Yeah, this Tita runs HP in the banned tar, which is understandable because Tita is kind of slow, and you want to be able to take a hit on banned tar, and then dish back damage. I don't see what he loses from crunching here, to be honest. But he doesn't want to get trapped. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't want to get trapped by the. By the duck trio, so someone is smarter than me and makes the double into Amoongus. Amoongus is choice, so I think Asuya has a free Feral Thorn here. If someone is Scarf um, Heatran, I don't think he is. But if he's Scarf Heatran, he needs to get up Hellas to break the Duggy Sash and prevent getting trapped by Dougie with the Heatran. So like, he can basically, he basically has more room to bring in his Heatran if he gets up a hazard and if he Scarf. So he sees Lumberry Volcarona. So this is a tough turn for Solwind because hmm, if he Spores again but and the Volcarona goes for Fire Blast. Let me, let me think this through. So if he loses the Mungus to prevent us from setting up, you can potentially go into Tyranitar and revenge this if it doesn't have Bug Buzz. I want to see how much Bug Buzz does from Walk Around to Tyranitar. It does a 68 to 80, so we'll probably kill. Yeah, so he sacks off his Amoongus, which is understandable because he doesn't want to let this get free set up. But as Donovan win now, P2 in the chat. Yeah, it's looking really. I think this uh, Volcarona plus Trap Buzz is a disgusting combination. I even hate it. I hate it in Sun and Moon. I obviously don't know that much about it in the bla in the black and white meta game, but it seems busted. Imagine a Volcarona in the Sun that can live. Like he doesn't have. The Sun isn't up at the moon, but just in general. Imagine a Volcarona in the Sun, so you can boost up the Fire Blast. Like this seems so po over, p so like strong to me, because I started playing in g competitive in Gen Six and I've never seen the Volcarona in the sun. <laughs> like I feel like Asuya always has like a little bit of more room to make an error, but this matchup he had, and Solon had to play like perfect pretty much to get every turn correct. But that's just how I feel. Um. Yeah, Tita might. Tita probably dies after Spike if he has a bug, but yeah. And. 
I think he's forcing. If he's throwing it, you can go to guard jump, yeah. But isn't this just a free Feral Thorn if this doesn't have Fire Blast? Oh, so he could be Giga <laughs> I'm just looking at Volcarona sets in the Kalk here. Giga Drain or HP Ice? I saw, I've seen HP Water Volcarona before, but that was on, rain, on a rain team, if I recall correctly. So he doubles out, predicting the Feral Thorn, which works out for Soul Wind. So he sees the Leftover Strand. So what he trend says do exist in Gen 5. Otherwise, that, what does the calculator suggest? Me Spadev, whether Trapper substitute, or your offensive. But oh, offensive runs Air Balloon. Yeah, I've seen that said a lot, but he has leftovers. So this could be like a Spadev trend. With Stealth Rock. And I assume the Skarmory just have double thousand of Uniclus predicting. I think he predicted the Dougie or something. Like this makes me think that it's focus sash Dark Trio because you wouldn't bring it in hard on Heatran otherwise. But that was risky because doesn't Heatran have a move to like break through focus sash? It's but Deftron, yeah. Like if it has Lava Plume, it's risky to go hard Dark Trio, and if it has Magma Storm, Magma Storm did exist in Gen 5, right? I just don't know if Heatran ran it. Data Magma. Storm. Yeah, it's a Gen 4 move, so it exists in Gen 5. I assume he's gonna go for Trick Room. He just goes for Psychic. Mm, maybe he doesn't have Trick Room? Or, like I said earlier, he doesn't want to get outsped by Ferrothorn if he sets up Trick Room. He keeps going for Psychic, predicting us to get double switch into World Corona on a Focus Blast, I assume. I don't know why else he would go for Psychic. Because Walker Runner is like the only thing that resists Focus Blast. He did miss a Focus Blast earlier, but oh my god, it's so much, yeah. That's for sure offensive Reuniclus. So I wasn't wrong earlier, I just don't know how Donphan ate it up so well. It has to be some sort of split death Donphan. Wait, if it's Scarf Guard Jump, yeah, they're saying that goes to the ground resist. Scarf Guard Jump is going in, or su maybe Sub SD Jump. I mean, Feral Thorn is kind of a ground resist. Like, is how do you say it? Like, a damn, I don't know the English word for it. Like a pseudo ground resist, or if that's the correct term. Hopefully, no burn here. Thank you. But the Guard Jump is free to click off quick here. And okay, doubles what? I don't know if that changes. And I don't know if you had to make that double. Maybe he has something on this to hit the Feral, and he did predict the Feral Thorn. Because um, standard Feral Thorn doesn't take much from Earthquake from Chomp, I guess. Let's just hit Choice Scarf, or if we just 32 to 38, and Ferrothorn did show Protect, so it was able to get gain health back, go for Leech Seed on Guard Jump, gain health back, go for Protect after, so I can understand this somewhat. So Protect on 9 Tails, what is this for? I assume it's to Scout Choice Lock Mons. I mean, Protect is just one of those utility moves that can be useful sometimes. You can click it and if the opponent makes like a double switch, it can give you an advantage. Um. Yeah, this is tough for Solon because if he gets a kill with his Cheetah, he gets trapped by Dark Trio. And if he keeps doubling out his Tyranitar, he's getting chipped at by the Spike, so... Yeah, this is a really annoying position. A Jellison would have been really nice for someone in this matchup, I feel, to spin block the Dawn fan. Because if you could have gotten up spikes and will win the round, uh, will win the Suya's team around, it would have been super annoying for Suya.
I did record another World Cup game for you guys earlier, but I was getting interrupted by people as he finally pursued. So he's getting trapped now by Duck Trio, but he gets rid of the nine talents. So the sand is here to stay the entire game, which means I mean it doesn't matter too much. It pretty much only means that Volcorona doesn't get fire boost sun boosted fire blast. And it means that I mean the Sandstorm doesn't hurt us serious team besides Volcarona takes some chip damage. The other three months don't take any chip damage from Sandstorm. But yeah, Solon's team doesn't take chip 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 damage either again. Why can't I talk? But yeah, goodbye. Oh my lord at eight. And he gets up his rocks, wow. So he's not banded, he's a bogey set. So I assume he has fire blast, because didn't he double into f into this on the Ferrothorn earlier? I assume he has fire blast then. And this thing is Donphan. Donphan should be able to come in and spin on Reunicus and Skarmory. Gets up the rocks, which pretty much helps the Volcarona even more to clean up. Chopperberry, okay. So he can save his Duck Trio. Try to get off the spin with the Donphan and then sack the Donphan and revenge the Heatron later. But it's kinda hard because his only play here is either sacking this or going hard Feral Thorn. Because I think you want to keep the Donphan Rapid Spin or Ice Shard pressure this. There you go, Hard Feral Thorn should be able to eat this up. It should be like 33, 34, yeah. And you can go for Leech Seed here, or you can double into Donphan. Um, Yeah, did I finish my sentence earlier? I recorded another World Cup game for you guys, but there were like people in the house, so it was loud, and I so I have to basically re narrate that, and I was like six turns too late. So I might just record from my Windows Media Player so I can pause it if it's too fast because I'm, I missed like six turns live and I rewatched them on the recording, but it's going on really fast, so I might have to pause it here and there. And yeah, that game is going up a bit later. And maybe it will go up one day after. Because I know there's... More World Cup coming later. That I want to record at least the White Green game. I don't know if I updated Candle's playing today. Because it was scheduled for 19th, but... I haven't... I don't know if he's online. I mean, you can go for Protect if you, um, if you predict the Garshan to stay in. Also, some subs, some people got subbed in other than Jamet. Also, for Team Franz, uh, Corey 2600 got subbed in. For Kick Ass, also, Corey is playing. Ray Scarface, Blunder, and Mazar, the group is pretty interesting. I can't wait to see games from that group. Oh, yeah. Who else got subbed in? I think. ICT gets subbed in for Steve Angelo for Team Germany. Team Germany is not doing too well in Sun and OU. I think they're 0 2. So I really hope that they can pick up some wins. Is he's gonna lead shit here? Spike, okay. So he's really going for the chip damage. On uh, Solvent's entire team. I mean, Skarmory doesn't care about spikes. I think he's ensuring that the Scarchum can switch. Yeah, this basically ensures that Garchomp can switch and come back in. Because spikes plus rocks should kill it. I don't know if he needs a third layer to kill the guard shrimp. Because I think two layers of spikes do that do like 17%. And then with rocks 6%, this guard shrimp might live on 1%. So he might need the third layer. But knowing Shodan, this guard shrimp is at 21%. Shodan likes to run down. I mean, he can obviously go for leech sheet here as long as it hits. Um, I don't think someone is going to save this guard shrimp anyway. Oh, wait. I mean, he kind of has to save it because he loses. Now nah, he don't check Volcarona. Yeah, he don't check Volcarona. I think he's not HP ground. I don't think it would be an HP ground on Volcarona when he has HP ground on nine tails, probably, and he has a duck trio. So he just has to keep the rocks up, so the duck trio can trap the heatron. 
With hard and heat run and save the Gajam, so he might actually be able to live on 1%. Not anymore, because the last layer of spike goes up. So this Gajam is dead for sure. A sub heat run will put in a lot of work. He misses a magma stone, which sucks. Because that costs him health on his guard show on his feature. <laughs> Wait, so he went hard into Duckshield earlier on the heat turn. If he went for Magma Storm on that specific turn, it would have been Oh my god, it would have been pretty bad for Isuya. Didn't he go hard into Dougie on on the turn earlier or Am I tripping? I don't remember that turn. Hey, Dad, this doesn't live. What the fuck? Does Heatran just solo him? Yeah, Heatran just solos for Solwind. So, Solwind getting up the rocks, ensuring that Dougie can't trap this, and nice. Solwind picks up the win for Team Spain. And he disconnected. The win condition is here. Yeah, it was the death, Donvin. That's what I was thinking. So we will cult this real quick if that was a roll. Cause yeah, I did cult careful earlier because I was wondering why the psychic did so little. Um where's this heat run? I'm just gonna say offensive magma storm. There's fifty to fifty-nine, so yeah it should kill the dawn from every time from that range. Should I time her off? You have to time her off, dude. Like, you can't just get him. I can win. That boy said, I can win. Is he really gonna take the time and win? There's no way. Come back, so win. There's no way. There's no. No! 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 <laughs> Don't do this to this boy. Dude, that's not fair. That's so AIDS. That's so AIDS, what the fuck? This guy is scum, holy shit. Th there's no way this counts as a win. I don't understand why... I mean, yes, one's tower was pretty low. So I can understand why you only had 40 seconds when you disconnected. But I think sometimes when you disconnect and you have like 120 seconds and it goes down to like 40 seconds. Samuel says it doesn't make sense, he should have gotten more time, right? It was 60, was it? Yeah, I'm mad now, holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it and be back when we know if this counts, but I assume Suya is uh, gonna take the win. Boy, man, if someone comes back online, he's gonna be so mad, good lord. And he doesn't have enough t he didn't have enough time left to get a recreate, that's the rules for tournaments, I think, yeah. So when this connect has a minute to reconnect, yeah. Yeah, there was a DC, not a timeout. These rules are sometimes really stupid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whenever you see it puts it to 60 seconds. Even when you... I think it does that even when you have like more seconds on the timer, which is weird. This is... But this is not fair. Like, if he has to win 100%, like, why would you not just turn off the timer till he comes back? Like... Like, some moderator should have just turned off the timer. Like, what? Why does why is he able to decide this if the timer gets turned off? Like what? Yeah, I know they were both low on timer, but still. I think I meant just in general. I think just in general. Yeah, of course the game was closed, but he had it won at this point probably. I guess if the Thetran only has Magnusum to hit the Volcarona, he could have gone for dodges. Um, but I think it was over at that point. Dougie does your hazards. Yeah, there's no reason to not give Solon the win, like, what the fuck? I deceived without knowing Magma Storm hit. 
Oh, I think he disconnected on the turn where he magma stormed. What is human race? Which Pokemon is it? The Pharaoh? Oh, where he magma stormed the Donphin, yeah. Yeah, he was not HP ground or water. Oh, he has Toxic on his e turn. So, unless you miss 450 times, you lose. Yeah, Drampage started his um, oh, you circuit game that I wanted to record, but I can't just record another game. If I don't know who, who wins this one, this is disgusting, dude. He didn't send in his team. Yeah, turn was leech seated, so like he had do he had to dodge so many moves. I don't think it's fair to to not give Solon the win. Like Solon deserves the win, but who am I to judge? Feels bad. Like I'm pretty sure um, that Solon loses this. They're not gonna recreate it or anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Solon is gonna lose this. He didn't send in his team. Sadly, I didn't send in my team, so enjoy the win. Yeah, this is a joke of a game. Like, I'm just gonna upload this now so I can record. I had a 99% win anyway. Yeah, like, don't be this guy. I'm sorry to like punch you out, but like, this is completely scumbag move. Yeah, I'm gonna record Drambage's game now. Peace out. And yeah, disappointing. So and loses to a disconnection. It really takes the win. And yeah. I see really decided it was the correct decision. I don't know. I would have like told him not to turn off the timer or something. And peace out, friends.